morning students today again i will be starting with doubts first so i'm uh, discussing question number 7 and question number 8 of exercise 7.2 first now question number 7 of exercise 7.2 this says that abc is a right angle triangle in which angle a is equals to 90 degree and ab is equals to ac find angle b and angle c now in this question figure we have to make ourselves according to question so i am reading question again please listen it carefully and according to the question i am just drawing the figure over here so uh, question is abc is a right angle triangle in which a is equals to 90 degree so first i am drawing a right angle triangle okay where oh sorry a is equals to 90 degree and other points i am taking it as b and c now what else is given that ab is equals to ac ab is equals to ac is given to us what we have to find we have to find angle b and angle c from this figure okay so first let me write what is given to us so given is that angle a is equals to 90 degree second thing is given to us that is ab is equals to ac okay now what we have to find so what we have to find here we have to find angle uh, b angle b and angle c from according to the figure okay now how to do this as we know that in our triangle abc ab is equals to ac so what we can write first i'm writing that in triangle abc okay what is given that ab is equals to ac is this okay now listen as angle a is given as 90 degree so mention it is it in between of b and c so i'm writing here in triangle bac in triangle bac is this clear now what it uh, what it is given in triangle bac that ab is equals to ac ab is equals to ac now as you all are aware that if two sides are equal then angles opposite to these two sides will be equal so you can observe here that angle opposite to ab is this one and angle opposite to ac is this one so i can write over here that angle b is equals to angle c yes so i am writing here because angles opposite to opposite to equal sides equal sides are equal over here is this clear now as angle b and angle c are equal to each other so what i can write that i can take angle b is equals to angle c is equals to as x okay now again i'm going in triangle bac and can i apply angle sum property over here yes so we will apply angle sum property in triangle bac so i'm writing over here that in triangle bac angle b plus angle a plus angle c will be is equals to 180 degree due to angle sum property due to angle sum property of a triangle so according to given and according to our assumption what we can write we can write in place of angle b as x then in place of angle a as 
90 degree and in place of angle C as again X is this clear? So I am writing over here that this step is due from equation number 1 and given also. Okay, so I can write like this. Yes or no? Students, you will write it side by side. If you are having doubt in this, then you can write it side by side. Now, after this step, I am writing it over here. So, after this step, we can write it as x plus x will become as 2x. Okay. And 90 degree, we can write it as it is. And then, is equals to 180 degree, we can write. Then, what we will get? We will get it as 2x is equals to 90 and x is equals to 45 degree. So, we can write it as that angle B is equals to angle C is equals to 45 degree. So, this what we need to find. I think till here there is no doubt. Students, you can write it side by side if you are having any doubt. We can clear it from the board. Now, come to next question. Question number 8. Now, in question number 8, what this question says that, show that the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. Okay, so we have to make figure ourselves. Okay, let me erase this now. Now, according to question, uh, that is, show that the angles of an equilateral triangle. That means, in this question, a triangle is given to us. Okay, a triangle is given to us and that is equilateral triangle. And we have to prove that angles in uh, this equilateral triangle are of 60 degree each. So, I am writing over here that what is given to us. That is, triangle a, B, C is an equilateral triangle. Okay. Okay. Now, what we can write, what, uh, now what we have to find, first of all I am writing that. So, we have to find is, Angle A, Angle B and Angle C. These angles we need to find. Now what we will do here that if we talk about triangle ABC. As we know that triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle given to us. So what we can write that. AB is equals to BC is equals to CA. The reason you will mention over here that triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Okay, this reason, this full reason you will write here. After that, if these angles are equal, that is given to us, then what else we can write? Now, uh, I can take, I am first taking AB is equal to BC. So, in place of this, as from figure and as uh, we have one theorem also, that if AB is equal to BC, then angles opposite to these two sides will be equal to each other. So, I am writing over here. That as an, uh, AB is equals to BC, so we can write that angle C is equals to angle A. And 
again I am mentioning reason because angles opposite to opposite to equal sides equal sides are equal okay this is one reason now let me take this as equation number 1 okay after this again i will go to this equation and i can write that okay i'm writing it on the top over here i'm writing writing it over here that as BC is equal to BC is equal to CA. So what I can write that BC is equal to CA. So I can write that angle A is equal to angle B. Okay. Again you can see over here that if BC is equal to CA then angles opposite to these two sides will be equals to equal to each other so i can write over here because angles opposite to opposite to equal sides are equal okay again i'm taking this equation as this equation as Equation number 2. Okay. Now, from, from first and equation number second, what we can write from equation number first and equation number second, we can write that angle C is equal to angle A is equal to angle B. Yes or no? Okay. Now, as these three angles are equal to one another, so now what I can write that I am just taking let angle C is equal to angle A is equal to angle B is equal to X. Now, we will go in triangle ABC. Okay. If we go in triangle ABC, then in uh, then in triangle ABC, we can apply angle sum property over here. So, I am applying angle sum property that is angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Because of angle sum property. Okay, I think till here there is no doubt. Now after this, students you can write it side by side. After this, from equation number third, we can write that x plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree okay now okay you can write this equation number uh, from here you can write this is because of from equation number third now you can uh, see here that 3x is equals to 180 is coming and value of x will be 60 degree Okay, so at last we can write that angle C, is, this implies that angle C is equal to angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 60 degree. So this is what we need to find that triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle then we have to show that angles will also be 
will be of 60 degree each. That is we have proof over here. Now, after these two questions, we are starting with a new concept or new exercise you can say. So, in this exercise, we are starting some more criteria for congruency of triangles. So, I am writing here more criteria of congruency of triangle. Okay. Now, our first criteria for today is SS triple S congruency rule. Okay. Now, by its name, it is very much clear to us that SS congruency rule says if three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent to each other. So, I am writing this criteria over here that if, if three sides, three sides of a, of one triangle, of one triangle, Okay, are equal to, are equal to three sides, three sides of another triangle, of another triangle. Then, then the two triangles, then the two triangles are congruent, are congruent. Okay, now you can see from the statement that if three sides of one triangle, I am drawing two figures over here and with the help of these two figures, you will be able to understand the, this criteria. Here, according to this theorem, what this says, that if three sides of one triangle, means if these sides of one uh, triangle are equal to these sides like this, then what we can say that... Okay, we can say that in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, if AB is equal to DE, then BC is equal to EF, then AC is equal to DF. Then what we can say? We can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D E F. Okay. So this is one criteria of congruency of triangle. You have to note it down. Note it down please. As there is no proof in our syllabus for this criteria. So we are not uh, for this theorem you can say. So we are not doing that. We are only focusing on our result of this theorem. After this are Next criteria is RHS congruency rule. RHS congruency rule. Okay. So, our next theorem is, that is theorem 7.5, that is RHS congruency 
congruency rule okay now again what this congruency rule says that if in two triangles the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle then the two triangles are congruent okay it is mentioned here if in two right triangles that means one hypotenuse okay let me first write it and then with the uh, help of a uh, figure i will be able to explain this so in if in two right triangle if in two right triangle triangles triangles the hypotenuse the hypotenuse and one side one side of one triangle of one triangle of one triangle are equal to are equal to the hypotenuse hypotenuse and and one side one side of other triangle then then the two triangles then the two triangles then the two triangles are congruent okay now according to this statement i am making figure over here so you can see that i am drawing two right angle triangle one is right angled at a another is right angled at d okay now according to this uh, statement it says if in two right triangles if in two right triangles that is these two are right triangles you can see over here then the hypotenuse the hypotenuse you can see hypotenuse of one triangle is this one and hypotenuse of one is this one and one side of one triangle one side you can take any so i am taking this one okay are equal uh, of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of another triangle then these two triangles will be congruent to each other so i can write it over here that in triangle abc okay let me write it as bac you can write it any thing as till here no congruency has been proved so bac and triangle edf and triangle edf what i can write that if ab okay first i am writing if angle because two right triangles are given now so angle a is equals to angle d is equals to of 90 degree then ab is equals to de then 
BC is equals to EF. Then Y, RHS. Now how RHS? You can see over here. R means right angle over here. Right angle. That means we are having one one right angles in both the triangles. Then H means hypotenuse is there. So you can see that BC and EF are acting as an uh, uh, are acting as a hypotenuse. So next is S that is side. So you can see that AB is equals to D. So by RHS we can write that triangle VAC is congruent to triangle EDF. Is this clear? You can write it here also that what is the full form of this? This is right angle then H means hypotenuse then S means side. So if these three things will be there in both the triangles then only we can apply this congruency rule. I think till here there is no doubt. Now on the basis of these two criteria and on the basis of previous criteria, we are solving one example and which is very very important as figure I am drawing over here. Please uh, listen and look at here carefully. I am uh, erasing this. Students, you can write it. Example number one is that, okay. First, let me draw the figure over here. Okay. Now, let me read the question. So, question says that AB is a line segment. P and Q are points on opposite side of these two lines. Uh, this line segment as these two points are on opposite side of this AB. Such that each of them is equidistant from the points A and B. That means PA is given equal to PB. AQ is given equal to BQ. Now we have to show that the line PQ is a perpendicular bisector of AB. That means we have to show that uh, a, a PQ is a perpendicular bisector of AB. That means we have to show that uh, this angle and this angle is of 90 degree also and AC is equal to CB also. So how to prove this? Okay. Now, I am writing what is given first. So, given is that AP is equals to BP. AP is equals to BP. The next is AQ is equals to BQ. That is again given to us. Then, We have to show, we have to prove that PQ is perpendicular to or perpendicular bisector. PQ is the, PQ is the perpendicular, perpendicular bisector bisector of AB. Okay. Now how to start? First, you can see that AP is equals to PP given to us and AQ is equals to BQ given to us. So first, I am going in triangle APQ and BPQ. So, we can write it here that in triangle APQ in triangle APQ and triangle and triangle BPQ. Okay. Now what we can write? That AP is equals to BP. What else we can write? That AQ is equals to BQ. This is because of given to us. 
Okay. So you can see here that AP is equals to BP given to us. AQ is equals to BQ given to us. Then what third thing is left? That is PQ is equals to PQ because of common side. Because of common side. Okay. Now you can see here that which property is being applied here by by SSS criteria criteria triangle APQ APQ is congruent to triangle BPQ. Okay. This is given to us. Oh, sorry, this is this we have proved by SSS criteria. Now we can apply CPCT over here. By CPCT, what we can write that this angle I'm marking this as angle one and this is angle two. That angle one is equals to angle two. Okay. Now we have to prove that PQ is perpendicular bisector to, to AB. That means we have to prove that AC is equal to CB and this angle that I am taking as angle 3 and angle 4. These two angles are of 90 degree. So, you can see here that after this I will go in triangle APC and BPC. So, I am writing over here in triangle APC and triangle BPC. Okay. If we go in this these two triangles, then what we will find that AP is equals to BP because this is given to us. Then what else is uh, we will see that angle 1 is equals to angle 2 because of CPCT as proved in Equation number 1 you can see over here. Okay. Then next is PC is equals to PC we can write. PC is equals to PC we can write because of common sides. Common side. Yes or no? Till here I think there is no doubt. Okay. After this I am writing over here. Now, after this one, you will see that we will write by SAS criteria, by SAS criteria, what will be congruent? Triangle APC, triangle APC, APC is congruent to triangle B, P, C. Okay. Now, by C, P, C, T, what we can say? We can say that A, C is equals to B, C. Okay. And angle 3, angle 3 is equals to angle 4. I think till here there is no doubt. We can write that angle 3, angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree because of linear pair. Okay, now as both of them are equal also, so we can write angle let me raise this first. So I think this is clear from here that now we can write twice of twice of angle 3 is equals to uh, 180 degree. 3 is equals to 180 degree. So angle from here we can write that angle 3 is equals to angle 4 is equal to 90 degree and this what we need. 
Okay. Now you can see that as angle 3 is equal to angle 4 is equal to 90 degree and AC is equal to BC. So we can say that PQ, we can say that PQ, PQ is the perpendicular, perpendicular bisector, bisector of AB is perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay. So this was our example that we need to prove. Now what is the homework for today? Your homework is your homework is that you have to try or you can write you do question number 1 2 question number 3 of exercise 7.3 okay after solving these three questions if there is any type of doubt or after in this example also if there is any kind of doubt then you can take it after this lecture thank you